see in this new independent fundamental Baptist movement, whether you have heard of it or not, has a, has a headquarters, and that headquarters is in Tempe, Arizona. The headquarters is in, in Tempe, Arizona, and their, their leader is one that is known by Stephen Anderson. He's the leader of the new, Ind new independent fundamental Baptist uh, denomination, and, th and that's what it is. And they try to compare themselves with the old independent fundamental Baptist churches, which are, which are independent. They don't answer to anybody, but this new movement that has, has come along, uh, they answer to their headquarters in Tempe, Arizona, and they answer uh, to uh, Stephen Anderson. It's interesting, and maybe you don't know of him. Some of you I know have heard about him, and mostly he has an internet ministry, and a lot of people uh, listen to him via YouTube, especially young people that are into technology. They get on there, and they listen to Stephen Anderson, and he's a preacher that preaches uh, some truth and he's got some things and he's very knowledgeable about the Bible and, and uh, he's enjoyable to listen to. He's a great orator. He's a great speaker. He's knowledgeable in, in many, many things, not just the Bible, but he's, he's very well uh, educated. And, 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 and the, these churches that are in what's called this new independent fundamental movement, movement look to him. And, and, and make no mistake about it, he is the leader and he is the movement. These other churches are really uh, basically nothing without uh, Stephen Anderson. I noticed some things about this movement is, is this, that a lot of the churches, and, and we're comparing them to, and we'll get into the, the message, but I just want to show you some things that, that people have itching ears and they want to they wanna hear things that aren't exactly true in this day, at day and age, but, but a lot of the churches that are in this new independent fundamental Baptist movement, what they preach is exactly what uh, their leader does. Their leader, Stephen L. Anderson. I mean, whether they're preaching against a person, whether they're preaching against somebody like Sam Gipp, whether they're preaching against somebody like Kent Hovind, whether they're preaching against somebody like Bill Grady or Born That Way Ministries, if Stephen Anderson preaches against them, all the other churches join in and they'll begin to preach. And so what you see there is you see a denomination with a leadership in Tiffy, Arizona, because when Stephen Anderson preaches it, all the other churches involved uh, begin to preach it also. Not only that, the doctrines come from headquarters. The doctrines of this new independent fundamental Baptist movement come from Tempe, Arizona. The churches that follow Stephen L. Anderson, they follow his doctrines to the point of, of idolatry. It's very interesting that they're having a big battle over a fundamental doctrine that that, that, that is called the Trinity or the Godhead. The Bible says there's three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. The Bible says in 1 Timothy 3.16, great is the mystery of, of godliness. And, and I, I hope you understand that the doctrine of the Trinity is not one of the easiest doctrines in the Bible. A matter of fact, I've been looking at some preachers and reading some things and, and come to find out there, there's not much agreement where somebody will sit down and be word for word exactly alike on the doctrine of this trinity. The Bible says great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh. flesh. So understand this, that the trinity is a great mystery. But even this fundamental doctrine is being attacked out of Tempe, Arizona by Stephen L. Anderson as he's coming up with his own doctrine. And what's amazing about this is this new independent fundamental Baptist movement with Stephen Anderson in his uh, select churches that follow after him. Not only is Stephen L. Anderson changing, but the churches involved with him are changing. Why? Because they get their doctrine from headquarters. They get their doctrines from, from Tempe, Arizona. They get their doctrines from Stephen L. Anderson. And I've seen churches, even one, I think of one in particular, a man got up and he preached and he actually said that Stephen Anderson called me on the phone and told me that he had my back and that, 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 that Stephen Anderson coached him on the doctrine of the Trinity and he actually preached a message and he said this, I was wrong on the doctrine of the Trinity. And he reversed his position on the doctrine of the Trinity because of Stephen L. Anderson's belief. Several other churches have done this because of Stephen L. Anderson. You say, well, what in the world? Why do they, why do, they do this? Because again, the, the new in the fun, in the independent fundamental Baptist movement is Stephen L. Anderson. The headquarters is in Tempe, Arizona. And these churches, all of them have what we would call Andersonites in them. Meaning this, they're not following 
following their pastor. They're not following their church, but they're listening to Stephen L. Anderson on the internet. And so if Stephen Anderson gets up today and he denounces a church and he says that this guy is a heretic, that this guy is preaching wrong, one of the churches in his movement, what happens is they lose all their members. Because they're not listening to the pastor. They're listening to Stephen L. Anderson. We, Stephen L. Anderson. We've had this happen right here in Tennessee. Where uh, Stephen Anderson got up and made a video about a man that was a preacher in a local New Testament church. And what happened is Stephen Anderson got up and he rebuked this man. And his church actually kicked him out of the pulpit. Said that he was not fit to preach. They come against him with railing accusations. And threw the man of God out of the pulpit and so got him another pastor that was in compliance with Stephen L. Anderson and that would follow the orders from, from headquarters. And so when Stephen Anderson steps up, sets up, and he marks one of these preachers and he says something to one of these preachers saying that they're heretics, what happens is that they lose members. Because they're not following their local church. They're following Tempe, Arizona. They're following Stephen L. Anderson. If you know anything about these churches and you was to follow of them, there's probably about 12 or 13 of them. And something that, that's about these churches is, is oftentimes as the preachers preaches, that they'll preach on something and hardly, hardly time goes by without a mention Pastor Anderson. I mean, they'll be preaching and they use Pastor Anderson for a reference to, to some kind of doctrine. Many of the churches mention him over and over. It's always Pastor Anderson. Before the, before the church, even I got testimony of visitors coming in and they will ask them, do you listen to Pastor Anderson? Do you follow Pastor Anderson? You know what? That is almost cultic. That is almost cultic there. And, and, and one preacher even preached a message, why I'm an Andersonite. Why I'm an Andersonite. You, let, me, let me tell you something. When you take the name of a man like that, outside of the Lord Jesus Christ, you take the man, name of a man, Stephen Anderson, and you call yourself an Andersonite, that's big problems right there. There's an issue with that. And that same man that preached that, why am I an Andersonite? He reversed his doctrine of the Trinity because Stephen L. Anderson said so. Andersonites are like this. You know, we believe this. We believe the Bible said it. That settles it. Stephen L. Anderson followers believe this. Stephen L. Anderson says it. We believe it. And they consider him to, it's to the point of being, being a cultic. I mean, you, you think about uh, uh, not only that. you got preachers standing up talking about how Stephen Anderson. And these are preachers preaching this stuff from pulpits to congregations. Why I'm an Andersonite. One preacher stands up and says that Stephen Anderson is going to be judging old fundamental Baptist preachers in the millennium. I mean, what kind of stuff is this? These people are, let me tell you something. These people are crazy. They are absolutely crazy. They're damning people to hell. They're saying, listen, Stephen Anderson stands, stands up and he says he, he, a Baptist preacher, a Baptist preacher that he has used in his film, a Baptist preacher that he was his friend, a Baptist preacher that gives the plan of salvation in his movie films, he has stood up and declared the man ain't even saved. And he does this over and over. If you disagree with Stephen Anderson, you know what? You're lost. I found out you're either lost, you're a reprobate, or you're a faggot. I mean, that's it. That's how his followers are. You did disagree with Stephen Anderson, you're either lost, you're going to bust hell wide open, you're a rejected of God, or you're a homo. I mean, what kind of stuff is this? It's a bunch of garbage. It's insane. It's crazy. And these brainwashed followers of Stephen Anderson, they followed him blindly. Listen, what happened to the Bible? What happened to following, following after God? But he damns people to hell over and over in disfellowship. And once again, these churches are in his, what he calls, movement. This new independent fundamental Baptist denomination, they're scared to death of him. They are absolutely terrified because they know if he stands up and he says something against them, they're going to lose their members. Because why? They're, they're not interested in the church. They're interested in the denomination with Stephen Anderson as, as uh, the, the leader. I mean, it's the, it's the fruit of, I, I, I got something else to talk about the fruit of Andersonism. I mean, you understand he's got fruit. What I mean by that, people that follow him is his fruit. Fruit that he's 
produce. And, and let me tell you something. Stephen Anderson is a very wicked man. It took me some time to realize this, but I've come to find out that he is a reller. He's not, he's not qualified. He disqualifies pastors, but he does not, he's not qualified as a pastor. I mean, some of the things that he does, again, this is an internet church mostly. You probably never heard of him, a lot of you, and you probably never will unless you go on YouTube and church search his name. Then you'll find him, but he often puts out hits on local New Testament Baptist churches. Now he preaches like he wants to get along with the old IFB, the old independent fundamental Baptist. But let me tell you something, they have no interest in getting along with anybody. They have no interest in anybody but their own denom denomination. And oftentimes Stephen Anderson will put hit outs on churches. And right here, I got this, something that Stephen Anderson posted on Facebook in a secret group, in a group where his followers, where, where most of the crazies are, I'm talking about the fruit loops i'm talking about the basket cases he goes in there and he posts this stephen anderson moderator of this group he says please go on google and leave a bad review for the state line baptist church in rising sun maryland this fool needs to be exposed for his wickedness the church embraces devil heresies and says in their statement of faith that salvation hinges on you repenting of your sins instead of trusting in the finished work of christ on the cross and that's a lie don't say that it don't say that, but he sends his minions to go to that website, to that Facebook page, and to leave bad reviews on this church and, and his, his followers. I mean, they're wicked. They're wicked, most of them. And let me tell you something, there's some exceptions. There are some good peoples, but most of them are fruit of Anderson. They're, they're exactly like him, just as wicked. I call that the fruit of Andersonism. And he sends his minions to go and write bad reviews on churches and to attack good, good preachers. You talk to a lot of, in, 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 in most independent fundamental Baptist churches know about Stephen Anderson. Most of them know about Stephen Anderson. And when the name Stephen Anderson is mentioned, listen, they want to lock the doors. And they, they complain a lot about churches don't want Stephen Anderson members in, in their church. And you know what? That's right. And, and I understand because why? Because they come in and they start trouble. I've talked to many pastors. I've talked to many of Stephen Anderson's followers that have called me that actually want to move here. And you know what? I discourage them from moving here. I don't want them to move here. Why? Because they come into the church and they start trouble. They start trouble in all the churches that they go to. I've talked to many pastors across this nation that says Stephen Anderson's people have come in and they bring in heresies and they start trouble. And I don't want any, any Stephen Anderson followers in here. I don't want them in our church. And in a lot of churches, if you go in there and they, and they find out that you're involved with Stephen Anderson, they'll tell you, listen, you need to go somewhere else. You need to go somewhere else. Why? Because they're troublemakers. And so what happens? They come in and they join in a good church. They get in a church and they get involved in the ministry. And all of a sudden, Stephen Anderson stands up from his throne from his headquarters in Tippy, Arizona, and he makes a pronouncement. Let you know what the the the, the Andersonites in the church are going to do. They're not listening to the pastor. They're going to obey the commands of their lead leader. They're going to obey the commands of Stephen Anderson. And whatever Stephen Anderson says, remember what I said. Whatever Stephen Anderson says, that settles it. 